Hey guys, it's Brooke. So today's video, I'm going to be dueling the Starbucks and the Dunkin's pumpkin iced latte. I'm getting iced because I'm in Florida and it's literally 95 degrees out and with humidity it's like 105. So it's too hot for hot coffee. And plus, I'm a bigger fan of iced coffee. So we're going to be dueling the pumpkin spiced iced lattes and I'm so excited for it. Now, fun fact, I actually am not a big fan of the PS. Sell. What? But I get it every year just to retry it and hopefully I am hoping one year I'll be like, oh, okay, I actually like it now. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to put lipstick on. I'm at Dunkin' because Dunkin' is about five minutes away from my house and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the one here at Dunkin', see how it tastes, give you my thoughts, go to Starbucks, try the Starbucks one, and then compare them and try them at the same time. Because Starbucks is about 15 minutes away, so I don't want the one from Dunkin' to, you know, melt and... I want to give it a fair shot. Also, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it and I am kind of wanting to do more Starbucks reviews. I did some last year so I will link them down below. And if you are new, hi, I would love if you would subscribe if you enjoy this video and you enjoy my channel. I do do beauty reviews but I also love to do, you know, these types of videos as well. So if you like that, then be sure to subscribe. Alright, so the Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Latte actually sounds pretty good. So it came out August 21st and Starbucks came out today which is the 25th even though it says the 27th on here. Anyway, Starbucks needs to get it together. Dunkin' is coming before you. She's stealing the crown right now. So get it together, Starbucks. So the Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Latte or actually it's the signature pumpkin spice latte. They gotta be fancy. So it is a smooth espresso with pumpkin vanilla flavors topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar topping, which sounds really good, like really, really good. Now Starbucks pumpkin spice latte actually doesn't really have a huge description like that, but since we're at Dunkin', let's get it, let's try it. And another good thing about Dunkin' is that their small is literally a Starbucks grande or medium, if you will. And it's also like $2 cheaper. So, win-win, right? If it tastes better than the PSL at Starbucks, then I think that'd be pretty cool. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh, that reminds me of that SpongeBob episode where he's like, they're delivering the pizza. And he goes, backing up backing up yeah sorry if that's annoying that's just what it reminded me of all right hi can i get a small iced pumpkin spice latte okay. that's it thank you oh, thank you Okay, so I'm already a little disappointed. Okay, so I'm sad. I don't know if um, it makes a difference if you order it iced or hot. Maybe they only put the whipped cream and the cinnamon sugar powder on the hot one, but I was really hoping for some whipped cream and cinnamon sugar powder on my iced latte, but I will say, it does look good. Um, usually I can tell by the color if it's going to be good or not. Usually when it's like a darker shade, uh, it's going to be, you know, pretty strong and in my opinion, pretty gross. Um, but this is actually a, a like a light medium color and that usually means that it has a pretty good amount of like sweetness to it. So let's see, let's try it out. I'm actually really excited. It just looks like a regular latte. And it smells like a regular latte. It doesn't smell pumpkin or fall or anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got such a bad headache, you guys. I could just like feel it hitting me. Okay, so what I'll say, I do like this better than Starbucks so far, but maybe, maybe this will be the year that I like PSLs from Starbucks. This is my first time ever trying a Dunkin' PSL, 
and I'm going to say you can really taste the I want to say it's nutmeg um, like nutmeg cinnamon I guess I like that pumpkin spice right it kind of just tastes like a pumpkin pie latte if you will that's kind of what it tastes like to me I don't really taste the vanilla at all it must have a really subtle vanilla flavor I'm mainly tasting that nutmeg and that like pumpkin pie spice and even though I can taste that it's actually not too overpowering like I feel like Starbucks's is really kind of overpowering and if I actually drink a lot of it it makes my stomach hurt I feel like I could do this one like I actually like it I like the flavor of it so so far Duncan is winning but let's go to Starbucks and let's see if they put some whipped cream on it because I was really excited for the whipped cream that's like the best part but yeah I actually like this one out of five I would give this 3.54 you know like really close to four I could definitely drink this I actually really like this you know what I'm going to give this a four because I like how mellow it is so let's go to Starbucks and let's do it y'all Starbucks is so busy you can tell their fall drinks came out like this Starbucks is usually pretty busy but they're busy busy they also have the pumpkin cold brew and I'm not the biggest fan of cold brew but for some reason I really want to try that drink I don't know why but I don't know it just looks so good so they also have the salted caramel mocha frappuccino which sounds amazing and then they also have it where you can get the pumpkin spice as a frappuccino as well I remember reading it on here let me pull up my Starbucks app so they got the pumpkin spice latte the pumpkin cream cold brew which if you guys want me to try that, I definitely will because I feel like I'm going to try it anyway. So if you want me to make a video on it, I totally will. Um, leave suggestions down below if you want to see more Starbucks uh, reviews, I guess. And you can also get the pumpkin spice coffee frappuccino, which also sounds amazing. I feel like I would really like that. I feel like it would just taste like a pumpkin pie frappuccino. <laughs> and then of course they have the salted caramel mocha and you can get that as a frappuccino as well which I thought they had that but I guess that's technically a fall drink because it's under the fall menu I'm just going to get a small pumpkin ice latte because I feel like I'm not gonna like it as much and also we can compare the small sizes to Starbucks to Dunkin hi can I get a small iced pumpkin spice latte Latte. Yes, and then can I also get a grande strawberry acai refresher with no berries in it? No berries. Lemonade one? Uh, just the water one. Just the water. Yeah. And then <laughs> can I also get a birthday cake pop? Uh, That's uh, it. Instead of birthday, do you want to try our new box cake pop? It tastes about the same. Maybe a little better. Um, yeah, sure. Alright, it's going to be a little bit more Thank you. That guy's always so nice. I like coming to this Starbucks better than the other Starbucks. There's two that I go to, but this one, the people are always like really, really friendly and they kind of like play along with the videos if they know of the video. And I find that really, I don't know, they're just a fun group of people. I always love it when you have a fun group of people because um, sometimes people can be kind of mean and I can understand why like if you do like a complicated order I totally understand um, but sometimes people are not the nicest <laughs> like yesterday the girl at Duncan it wasn't the same girl as today but yesterday she was not having it like she was very rude she didn't say a word to me she didn't say here you go or, have a good day you're welcome nothing it was like complete silence it was like I was talking to a brick wall and I was like okay <laughs> it was so awkward but you know people have bad days too so maybe she was just having a bad day hey how's it going hey good yeah good I'll trade it there Thank it looks you. like a little red candle oh okay 
Oh, it is cute. I like that. Right? It doesn't look like a fox. It looks like a fox. <laughs> yeah. You can see a better seller if you Thank you. Are they? I did not know that. You know. There Thank you, you go. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. He's like literally the nicest ever. Okay, you guys, so Starbucks for the win on presentation. They actually put the cinnamon sugar or cinnamon, cinnamon sugar on top and the whipped cream. So I'm so, so excited. But you guys notice how much of a color difference there is. This one's a lot darker. So I feel like it's, it's a lot stronger. Maybe that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it, but let's try it. I am so excited. Okay, so what it says is it's espresso steamed milk combined with a blend of pumpkin, traditional spice flavors, or fall spice flavors. Enjoy it finished with whipped cream and pumpkin spice topping, which is actually just cinnamon sugar. So I'm going to give it a little swirly swirl and let's hope for the best. Okay. I actually really like it. I, I don't know if it's always been the same or maybe like the ice melted a little bit since I was talking on the phone for about 10 minutes, but I like it. I think this year is the year. I don't know, I feel like it's not as strong. Like it looks strong, but I definitely taste a lot more pumpkin spice in the um, Duncan one. It tastes a lot more like nutmeg and cinnamon. This one is just very well rounded. It doesn't have a strong flavor of one particular spice. It's really good, I really like it. I feel like it's a lot more watered down and I of course like the fact that they put the whipped cream in the cinnamon sugar. Unlike Duncan. Mmm, so good. And then when the whipped cream melts into the drink, ten times better. Okay, so here's the difference. And also here's the size difference between a Dunkin' Small and a Starbucks Small, just in case nobody has ever showed you, you know, the difference. But those are the size difference. This is basically like a Starbucks Grande. Maybe just a tad bit smaller, but yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Starbucks. I really thought Dunkin' was gonna win this one. I really did. Tasting them side by side together. Starbucks wins. Hands down, Starbucks. I did not see this video gone this way, but I'm really liking this drink. Like, I, like, I don't know. I like it this year. Maybe they're just not making it as strong, or maybe I just got one that wasn't made as strong, but I really like this. Starbucks for the win, plus it's got the whipped cream. This one is stronger compared to the Starbucks one that I have, so maybe if you really, really like the taste of pumpkin spice, get the Dunkin' one, even though you might not get whipped cream. Although my Dunkin' just might suck, so <laughs> yeah. Um, Starbucks for the win. You want me to duel more drinks between Dunkin' and Starbucks, or you want me to do more reviews on the Starbucks fall drinks like the pumpkin cold brew, or something like that let me know down below because I would totally be down I go to Starbucks pretty much every single day also they came they got a new cake pop I don't know if you heard the conversation but it's the Fox cake pop which is super super cute and I do agree with the guy it does kind of look like a red panda instead of a fox but it's super super cute I'm not sure what flavor it is so let's try it Mmm. What is that? Carrot cake, maybe? Or maybe it's just regular vanilla. I don't know, but it's good. Let me look it up. A soft, creamy vanilla cake. Okay, so it is vanilla, 
with an orange colored chocolatey icing. Okay, so I was off. <laughs> well, I did say vanilla, but I was thinking maybe it had cinnamon, so I think that's why I said that. But the chocolate is very, very subtle. It's really good. So if you love their cake pops, try the Fox Cake Pop. Try the Fox Cake Pop because one, it's good and two, it's cute. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Click subscribe down below if you're new and you enjoyed this video. You can watch more videos right here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>